In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the payment function in Microsoft Excel. I'd like to determine the monthly payment of a car loan of $25,000 at 5% interest over a term of 120 months. To get started, I'm going to click in cell B6. I'm on the Formulas tab. I'm going to click Financial. I'm going to scroll down to the payment function. In this box, I'm going to enter the interest rate. I can see the interest rate here in cell B4, so I'm going to click on it. It's an annual interest rate. I need to convert this to a monthly because I'm making monthly payments. So I'm going to divide by 12. The number of payments is 120. Now this is the area that you have to watch out for. If it's showing in months, you're good to go. If it was showing in years, you'd have to multiply it by 12. The PV is the amount that you plan to borrow. This is the present value of the cost of the car. So I'm going to go ahead and click on cell B3. FV and type are optional. Excel will make some assumptions if you leave these two arguments blank. For example, FV would be used if you have a balloon payment at the end of your loan. If you leave this blank, Excel is going to assume that at the end of your last payment, you'll have a zero balance. For the type section, if you leave this one blank, Excel is going to assume that your payment would be at the end of a period instead of at the beginning of the period. You'd put a number one in there if you wanted the payment to be at the beginning of the period. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and you see my monthly payment listed there. It's a debt, so it is showing in red. If I would like to change this to be a positive number, I can click right up here after the equal sign, and I can put in a negation and press Enter, and now that's showing as a positive. In this section, I have almost the same information. The only difference is the term of the loan is listed in years rather than months. So remember, you would have to multiply this to 12. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to Formulas, then Financial, scroll down to Payment. I'm going to click on the interest rate, divide it by 12. The number of payments, I'm going to click on E5. I'm going to multiply that to 12. And for the PV, that's the amount that I'm borrowing. So I click on cell E3. I'm going to leave FV and type Omitted and press enter, and there's my payment. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the content, please click the like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to receive notifications about more videos like this one.